popping bottles. Bounce. We popping bottles. I wanna see the club bounce. I'm popping bottles. Bounce. She's popping bottles. Bounce. We popping bottles. I'm getting tipsy. Bounce. I'm popping bottles. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Last time uh, we were playing, I think, uh, I've been playing ahead as you can see. I think we, uh, we found out that our priest friend wasn't being held in that villa in Sicily. As a matter of fact, he was kidnapped by the Russians. Or at least Russian-looking types. Who knows? Maybe Diane is just racist towards Russians. Um, that didn't make any sense. Okay, so uh, let's let's jump ahead. Forty-seven, Diana here. Sorry that you've had so little luck at the mansion. It's really hard to tell where Vittorio was taken. We lost track of him in the airport. The agency does, however, feel that we fulfilled our end of the deal and expect you to comply with the terms by completing a minor assignment in Saint Petersburg. Your objective is to take out an ex-KGB officer, participating in a secret meeting, solely arranged so that you can take a clean shot at this officer. The meeting is taking place at 1300 hours today in the Pushkin building in Varozhnyts Square. The room is on the second floor in the west wing, overlooking the square. The windows are marked on the attached image. The building is the former FSB headquarters and can only be accessed from the square. There's one main entrance and a back entrance, both heavily guarded by FSB paramilitary personnel. The target must be eliminated during the meeting, which is scheduled to last five minutes. Absolutely nobody in the meeting room except the target must be harmed. This is very important, 47. Upon arrival by Metro, you will find your equipment and paraphernalia in locker 137 at the station. Your escape route is returning with the train. Avoid all contacts with soldiers and guards. They are instructed to remove any civilians from the area. All right, that was quite a mouthful, but it's kind of nice to see a return to the uh, the old school debriefing uh, screen that we saw in Blood Money and Mist in Absolution. So uh, this is uh, this is a mission that's really no easier than the last one. Let's take a look at the stuff we have here. Let's look at the target video. Hmm. Well, it's outside. There's St. Petersburg. Um, I don't know anything about Russia, so I don't really know what those buildings are. Um, ooh. It's, uh... Caviar. Russian caviar. Ooh, somebody's fucking. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Is our... Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody was fucking. Someone was getting their asses kicked. Take off your damn glasses. That's rude. That guy was wearing his glasses inside. It was nighttime. Such a douche. Um, okay. So, I guess the target was the back of that guy's head. Didn't really see a whole lot there. Let's see. Here's the photo. Oh. Okay, it's not a photo of our target, so photo of Vrazny's Square, and this is, this is the, uh, the West Wing, the room that they're going to be having their meeting in, I suppose. It's good to know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to take a sip of the water. Uh, I think one of the fun things about this game is playing a level for the first time and checking out all the information, trying to be, okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit of strategy before I actually start the level, if you want to skip ahead, go ahead. I'm probably going to put a little, a little, uh, I don't know, a little note telling you when the actual level starts. Um, this is our, this is where our stuff's going to be hitting. Basically, a gun and a, a sniper rifle where we can make our shot safely. But um, I'm actually going to skip this by bringing along our own sniper rifle because it makes things easier. You'll see what I mean when we start the level. Let's look at, uh... Okay, we already know that. Uh, let's look at some other things here. Okay. Here's the metro. Um, metro entrance. Right, so we're going to be coming up this way here. 
And uh, here's the exit to the streets, but the streets are pretty heavily guarded. Um, there we go. Right, so this red area here is where civilians aren't allowed. And if you're a guard, um, you can't just walk straight into the restricted area because you will get stopped, even if you are a guard. So if you exit from the streets, you actually got to do some sneaking around. Um, I want to avoid that, so actually we're going to take the source and pop out right here where we get to skip the roadblock. And then we're going to make our way through here, to this building here, where we can take a shot uh, at our target. Um, that's just the apartment building. It's easy to get lost in the apartment. Pushkin. Oh, right. Here, here's the Pushkin building, the where the meeting's actually taking place. You can actually sneak in there and kill the targets close up if you want, but uh, I'll be showing that as an alternate way. Okay, so, gonna choose our weapons. There we go, I'm gonna take our own sniper rifle along. And we're gonna take a silence pistol here. I'm not gonna take the silver ballers this time because we need to be able to fire one-handed as we hold our, sn our sniper rifle. All right. St. Petersburg, it's seen its share of bullets and betrayal over the years. Not a easy place for a comeback. I suspect both guards and soldiers here are well trained and highly suspicious of foreigners. I have to rely on the element of surprise. They don't expect me. And if I keep it cool, clean, and quiet, they'll never know what hit them. Now, let's find locker number 137. <sighs> okay, so as soon as we start, we gotta be careful here. Because we gotta make sure that the civilians don't see us. Nice, we made it through. Um, if they do see you, of course, you have to kill them. But we don't want to kill innocent bystanders, do we? No. All right. And our next. Okay, now we gotta get this guy. Um, I used to choke this guy out with the anesthetic, but the problem with the anesthetic is that uh. They wake up, and this guy will wake up before I can finish my mission, so he has to die. Boom! <laughs> Alright, um, now, I'm playing on normal mode. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a fantastic Hitman 2 silent assassin player, because I'm not. I'm much better at blood money and sadly absolution. But, uh, the differences between, um... Normal and professional. 47. Officers are arriving at the building. Looks like the meeting is starting ahead of schedule. Be ready, 47. Okay, thanks for that, Diana. Anyway, um, like I was saying before, the differences between normal and professional, as far as I can tell, are kind of negligible. Um, basically, you have more health than normal. Um, you can save your game, and you can see uh, NPCs on the map. Um... Okay, so here's where we want to pop out. It's easy to get lost, but all you need to do is go across this bridge here and keep heading to the left. So let's go there. Uh, like, right, like I was saying before, um, the differences are mainly that you can check out NPCs on the map as they move around in real time. It might be seen as cheating, and I, I guess it kind of is, but the truth is that when you play through a level of Hitman on Professional, um... All you're really doing is memorizing and learning things through trial and error. And since I don't feel like spending as much time in this game as I did with Blood Money, sorry to say, I'm just going to be playing through on normal. Um, a lot of these strategies will work on professional if you want to try your hand at professional. It just means you need to be a little more careful. As for killing targets, I think if you can kill one guard with one bullet straight to the head, I think you can still get Silent Assassin, even on Professional. But I could be wrong. Okay. Alright. So, we bypassed a lot of uh, sneaking around, a lot of frustrating sneaking around by doing that. And, uh... Alright. Oh, really? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I forgot to bring along my anesthetic. It's kind of embarrassing. Alright. 47. The meeting will begin in five minutes. Okay. She's going to keep telling us 
that. There we go. Nighty night, friend. <laughs> Thing is, um, we can sneak around the guy here the first time, but when we come back, we have to go up those stairs. 47 cannot climb without a ladder, so we want to take him out ahead of time, so that way he won't uh, blow our cover. Normally, I knock him out with anesthetic, but I forgot to pick up the anesthetic, so yeah. Right, so anyway, let's see here. Here's the building. You can actually go inside and kill the target close up personal if you want. It's kind of difficult. 47, the meeting will begin in four minutes. Get ready. All right, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Now, there's actually three windows you can shoot from in this building. There's the first floor, second, and third floor. My favorite's the second floor because you get to see the targets the most clearly, except for one general, but that general isn't the general we have to kill. I, of course, know this ahead of time because I've played the level a few times. So, uh, yeah, no worries there. I'm gonna wait for these guards to go ahead a little more. There's no need to rush. Diana seems pretty worried. I guess even though we did that job in Sicily, she's still not quite sure that we're up to the task. But little does she... Oh! 47, oh. the oh meeting will God. begin in three minutes. It's about time, 47. Shut up! Oh, I actually opened that door by myself, but I thought it was the one guard patrolling in here. There is a guard walking around the building on the other side. Uh, as long as we're careful, we won't ever encounter him. We won't have to kill him. Okay. There's nothing worse than getting interrupted while you're trying to snipe, you know? Alright. Um, okay. Right in here. What is this, a big chess table? Oh, no. Well, an elongated checkers table. Elongated checkers is one of Russia's greatest pastimes. Okay, so, here we go. Huh. 47. Diana, <laughs> it appears that a total of four generals have joined the meeting. I yeah. need extra information to pinpoint my target. I can't see that, that guy. sounds That's strange, okay. 47, and unexpected. Here's what I've got. The target is about 60 years old, a All general right. in uniform. Do not execute until you have an absolute positive ID on the target, 47. So apparently... I'll check the files for more detailed info. Be back with you in a sec. I guess this Stay guy tuned. isn't a general. Or at least he's not a general in uniform. 60 years old, it's not really... 47, here we go. Unusual for a general. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Hang on, 47. Looks like he's right-handed. Okay. That narrows it down, but still no positive ID. My time slot is slipping. Any additional info? 47, I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Apparently, he drinks a lot. Okay. It's close, but still no 100% ID. Hold on, 47. I've got his personal file right here with a recent photo. 47, he's bald. Oh, it's one of these two guys here. But it's not enough. You gotta know more. 47, it appears he's a non-smoker. Uh-huh. Drinks a lot, right-handed, bald, non-smoker. I have visible contact and positive ID. Nice. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Because that guard that's patrolling the, the, the room will come in and see what that sound was. We don't want to be there. All right, so when you're taking a shot from that, uh, from the second floor, you got to be careful because it's easy to hit that guy in the casual dress. Nobody's around. It's very easy to hit that guy with a casual dress because sniper bullets in Hitman 2 uh, go through multiple targets. There we go. Give these guys a wide berth. Oh, there's a lot of birds chirping in the snow. I, don't know. I guess birds don't really mind snow. They tend to get quiet when it rains, right? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Where are they? There's no trees or anything. <laughs> anyway, um, right. I think I'm gonna cut in an attempt to attack the building head on, actually. Uh, so I'll put that right here. Oh. Alright, let's, uh. Okay, so in the save game, I actually, uh. 
actually managed to bring along my my anesthetic. Forty seven, so. the meeting will begin in four minutes. Get ready. Oh, don't rush me, woman. Alright, so um let's see here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak into Oh shit. They're looking at me. We're gonna sneak into that building and confront the target head on. And we already know who the target is, so we don't really have to wait for Diana to give us clues, right? Now, uh, the front entrance might be pretty well guarded, but this back entrance here is not. So, let's go around here. It's kind of shameful, really. I mean, you'd think there'd be a guard posted there, right? 47, the meeting will begin in three minutes. It's about time, 47. Diana's getting anxious. 47, here we go. I'm leafing through some private footage from last year. Hang on, 47. Looks like he's right-handed. Forty-seven, I have a feed from the database regarding his medical profile. Apparently, he drinks a lot. Hold on, forty-seven. I've got his personal file right here with a recent photo. Forty-seven, he's bald. Forty-seven, it appears he's a non-smoker. So, let's go straight up here and deal with the problem. Boom! Dead! Nice. That was pretty slick, I gotta say. And, uh... Right. Okay. Um... Let's take this guy's suit. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, you could probably do things a little bit better. You could probably sneak around the guards. Oh, shit. Um... Die! 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 Alright. <laughs> um... Right, I think I'm just gonna go back to my, my initial run. I'll see you there in a second. Okay, and we're back. Wasn't that interesting? Yeah. I bet it was. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it will be. All right. And uh, like a lot of uh, like a lot of Hitman levels, um, after you execute your target, there's really nothing else to do but just go back to where you came from. Just a long haul here. All right. So. This isn't our last level in Russia. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing quite a few jobs in Russia, I think. Or maybe it's just two more. I can't really remember. All I remember is being like, oh god, enough of Russia already, you know? Hmm. Hmm. These sewers are awfully clean. <laughs> it's kind of like the Japanese sewers, right? I saw a picture of a Japanese sewer once. It was very neat and tidy. Kind of like an awkward car ride, you know? You're not really sure what to say. Okay, so we want to watch out for this guy. Don't want him to see us with his fancy sniper rifle, after all. You know, these escalator stairs aren't moving. I wonder if some jackass hit the stop button. I don't know. If any of you guys live in a place where there's a, a subway system, like in Boston or maybe New York, um, you got a lot of assholes who hit the stop button on the, the escalator. And... Okay. 
Well, this is the end of the level, so I guess I can stop trying to think of anecdotes. Here we go. It was nice of that train to wait for us. <laughs> I know in Boston, uh... I know in Boston, uh, oh, professional rating, not style assassin. I, wait, three shots fired? Really? Huh. <laughs> right, so the target doesn't count as an enemy. Um, right. Okay. I think if I had gotten away with killing only that one guy and remembered my anesthetic, I could have, uh, could have gotten away with it. So... You know, one thing I just realized is that I didn't, uh, I didn't pick up the AK-47. I guess I should have done that after I was done with the mission. I mean, I, I wouldn't lose my sniper rifle if I left it behind, so. Oh, well. No big deal. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to think of a weapon. Look through keyhole. Oh, right. Here, piggy, piggy, piggies. Here, piggy, piggy, piggies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Huh? Die, you. What? Hold on a second. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. Oh, did I, did I get it? Oh, hold on a second. Oh my god. You guys are the luckiest pigs in the world. You know that? I guess, uh... I guess I'm not gonna kill the pigs this episode. I, uh... <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. I'll see you next time. Uh, someone just saw me. Oh, God. Oh, now they both saw me. Damn, Oh, here he comes. I want you to remove uh, the uh, Sure, I understand perfectly. What do you think now? I was just leaving. I'll be free. Now, or you'll be dead. Oh. Now, let me speak to hey! What the fuck are you doing? Stupid. Danny's gone. Throw away all that huh? money? What the? You have to be so hostile. Oh, let me introduce you to my two friends. Hey, 